Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dear students. Hope you all are fine and doing great. Welcome back to your general knowledge lecture. As we are doing our chapter number 3 conservation of natural resources. Today we will do the topic protecting endangered animals. Yani khatrat se to char janwaron ka tahaffuz. As we know that forests are homes to many animals due to lack of habitat, deforestation and poaching, number of some animals are dwindling and they are in danger of extinction. Yani jangalat janwaron ka maskan hai. Masakin ki tabahi aur gair kanuni shikar ki wajah se kuch janwar aise hain jinki tadad kam ho rahi hai aur inki nasal khatam hone ka khatra hai. Such animals are called rare animals or endangered animals. ऐसे जानवरों को नायाब जानवर कहते हैं। Rare animals in Pakistan include Indus dolphin, snow leopards, black deer, brown bears, and Marco Polo sheep. The government is working to save the species of endangered animals. यानी पाकिस्तान में नायाब जानवरों में Indus dolphin, बर्फानी चीता, काला हिरन, भूरा रीच और Marco Polo भेड़ वगैरह शामिल हैं। हकुमत इन जानवरों की नसल बचाने के लिए कोशा है। Now we will see what are endangered species of animals. But before starting the concept of endangered animals, we will see what are species. All organisms, including human beings, plants, animals, insects, and their groups are called species. These are lions, owls, insects, bees, butterflies, trees, flowers. In fact, the fruits and veggies that we eat are species. Now the question arises: what are endangered species? Actually, endangered species is a species of animals or plants that is in danger of being extinction. Aise janwar jin ki tadad tezi se dunia mein kam ho rahi hai, unhe nayaab janwar kehte hain. Here, the question will arise in your mind. That how species become endangered. More than 65 million years ago, at least 7,000 known types or species of dinosaurs roamed the earth until drastic changes in their environment caused them to go extinct. Scientists say that a giant asteroid hits the earth, killing many dinosaurs on impact and throwing the earth into a frenzy. This change was so drastic, volcanoes were erupting, releasing dust, soot, and carbon into the air. Dark clouds covered the sky and climate changed very quickly, making it difficult for plants and animals to survive. This unhealthy environment caused many of the remaining dinosaur species to become endangered, and without clean air and water and sources of food and shelter, they were ultimately wiped out completely. Only a few species survived and evolved into what we know today as birds and other animals. In this example, you see how one action can cause a chain reaction of events that can very quickly create a dangerously unhealthy environment. And today, we are still experiencing natural changes in the environment and the Earth's atmosphere, but we are also experiencing changes that are caused by human activities. Activities like fishing, growing food, constructing roads and buildings, using electricity, driving, through roads or by air, shopping and many other things that we do every day can have major effect on habitats or places where species live around the world. And when habitat changes, the species living there are impacted. Things like deforestation, water, light and noise pollution, using too many natural resources and species being captured and brought to places where they don't belong. We are all putting plants, animals and humans in danger. Million of species exist on the earth but scientific research tell us that as many as 2000 of those species can be going to extinct per year which means they are ending from the earth. For example in the last century Balinese, Caspians and German tigers are all gone extinct and only two species left the continental and Sunda island tiger. Sadly both are endangered now. The reason is poaching, illegal trade, 
habitat loss and other human conflict issues have caused tiger populations to continue to decline year after year. Sadly, there are only about 3,900 tigers remaining in the world today. Besides, elephants, rhinos and whales are also made up of different subspecies and populations which are also being driven closer and closer to extinction due to human activities. Double hearty beast, Caribbean monk seal, Javan tiger, golden toad, Pyrenean ibex, Spix macaw, Western African black rhinos are example of extinct animal. The reason is people used to hunt greatly in the forest and kill animals. Besides hunting, deforestation is another major cause of habitat loss for animals. In Pakistan, markhor, mountain weasels, Asian black bear, black finless porpoise, and green sea turtles are endangered. Now, what can we do to save these endangered animals? In order to save these endangered animals, we must grow or plant more forests and trees. Keep the natural environment as much healthy as we can so that the species of animals residing in that environment may not get harm. We should also avoid overhunting of animals in order to protect the animals from becoming endangered, specifically those animals which are becoming critically endangered species. Dear students, do you know that national animal of Pakistan is markhor, while the national bird of Pakistan is Patridge. Now students, you have to write an activity in your notebooks. Write five names of endangered animals and plants other than given in book. For your convenience, I have patched up the answers, but dear students, try to google it by yourself so that it would be easy for you to grab the concept. It was all about today's lecture. Hopefully you understood. Thank you.